you make a first impression in seven seconds or less. And there's only so much you can control in seven seconds. You can control the way you dress. And by the way, leadership presence is very much dress for success. There's a woman in HR at Google, I was doing a program for body language for women at Google, who said, Carol, I have two wardrobes. She said, I have one wardrobe in my, in my closet in the office. I dress one way if I'm gonna talk to the techies, and I dress another way if I'm gonna talk to the executives. Because dress for success is different in those situations, and that has an impact. It is your attitude and your energy. You know they, you pick up someone's attitude and energy in nanoseconds, according to the University of Glasgow. You, their, their neuropsychology is, is amazing around the world and you're learning a lot about how the brain interprets body language, but you pick it up like that. So you can't wait to walk into the room or get on stage or whatever it is and then get into that mode because the moment you enter that door, people are picking up on you. They're looking at your facial expression and they are judging. Certainly your posture, your walk, your initial gestures, the amount of eye contact that you make or don't make, your facial expressions, and your vocal pitch. You know, you can actually have people at hello. If your hello is modulated and warm and in a lower range. Now what happens if you're nervous? Is that your voice starts to go up and you don't sound, you know, and that isn't really, <laughs> you don't sound like you have gravitas, you don't sound like you have presence. One of the, a vocal teacher once told me, she says, Carol, when you want to get to your optimal range, put your lips together and do this. Mm-hmm. Now you don't do this in the meeting, by the way, but just, okay, before the meeting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that brings your voice down into its optimal range, particularly good for women or men with higher voices. 